Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you my Subaru Outback Wilderness car camping setup. This is a very minimal, zero build setup that we've tested over the last year and a half and has been really amazing for all our camping adventures. We're camping out here in Vidavu in Wyoming and we decided to come up here after work Friday. So we got in kind of late last night, right as the sun was setting and are just so happy we got up here. The weather's been a little questionable, we've been dodging rainstorms but the sun is shining today, it's vibrant green, the flowers are out, and I'm so excited to explore this area. I've made a video like this about a year ago, but wanted to do this follow-up to really show the changes to my setup, and also that a lot of the core components are the same as last time, as they've just been working really well for us over the past year. I have no intention of having the coolest looking overlanding rig set up. I really want this to be an easy to use, minimal setup that allows me to get outside and enjoy the things I love. I wanted to start by looking at my sleeping setup because as I get older, I've found that this is the most important part of the car camping setup for me. I definitely sleep better in the back of a car, one of the reasons I enjoy the setup. And I have kind of optimized this entire car camping rig around sleeping well. That all starts with the Xped Mega Mat Duo, which is the sleeping pad I'm on now. It fits perfectly in the back of this car and is extremely comfortable. On top of that, I actually have a sheet and I recently bought a double wide sleeping bag, which allows me and my fiance to sleep in absolute comfort. To get our bed set up, the first thing that we do is lay the seats flat and then we actually take the headrests and we turn them around and we put them on in reverse. This actually supports the um, Xpad Mega Mat Duo up at the top. From here, we just pump up our mattress, put on our sheet, get the sleeping bag out and we're ready to sleep. I also have decided to not do any kind of build out in the back here. I really enjoy the extra headroom and tend to only do one to three day trips and don't need any added storage underneath there. And I've found that this works better and just is kind of an easier, more minimal setup that allows me to more quickly get out of the house. In terms of storage, we really count on this roof rack to be able to put all our outdoor gear in and also a few things when we're sleeping and we have the back all filled with our bed. And this is the Thule XL like 1100. It has been discontinued a while ago, but it's 11 square feet and has absolutely been perfect for our needs. This storage up here allows us to have fly fishing gear, biking gear, any other things that we're doing, and also allows us to put a few things up top while we're sleeping and the bed is all set up. We have enough storage for most trips to actually keep the bed set up if we wanted to, put all our kind of daily gear up here and drive around with the bed set up ready to go. In addition to the overhead rack, we also have a ton of storage out in the front seats. So I'll usually keep my personal stuff here so when I'm sleeping I can reach over and grab anything I need out in the middle of the night like a jacket if it's cold or my phone or a book or anything like that. And also underneath the rear seat there is a ton of storage um, for coolers and any other gear we might want in the cabin with us that night. As you can see by using the roof box up top we're able to keep the rear seat and the back of the car pretty empty. This trip we have very little sporting goods with us and it's a short trip so it's even more empty than usual, but it kind of shows the point that using that roof box allows us to have the car looking and feeling clean and just kind of normal. So up top, we have our whole sleeping setup. We have camp chairs, camp tables. Sometimes we'll put the stove up here and also any other kind of sporting equipment we might need for whatever trip we're going on. One of the best additions that we've made are these little mesh window coverings. These have allowed us to keep our windows open at night. These give us some airflow in the summer and in the winter it prevents condensation and actually keeps us warmer in there. Also keeps the bugs out as well and allows us to feel that beautiful mountain breeze. And I just put this over the window, close the door and you're good to go. The other new addition that we got is this Kelty Waypoint tarp here. This is actually a brand new addition that we're testing out right now for the first time. But we're really excited to have some shade in exposed warmer places as well as be able to be underneath the awning and be cooking while it's raining during these very common afternoon thunder showers. Overall we set it up today for the first time. It attaches to the wheel wells and it's bigger than I expected and seems to be working well but we'll definitely be testing out more this summer and let you know more thoughts the next time we provide an update. 
So this is our core camping setup for our Subaru Outback Wilderness. And I didn't show some of the accessories like the tables, the chairs, the kitchen box, because that really changes depending on the length of the trip, what we're doing, what activities we're um, engaging in and all of that. But everything I showed today is really the core part of the setup that we take on every trip. It's really being able to sleep comfortably, having shelter, our storage setup and all of that. And we are loving the setup so far. We can't wait to have another summer out here in Colorado to enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, let us know. And also let me know if you have any questions about our setup down below in the comments and I'll be sure to reply.